Hey guys, this is Peter at the Shalom Peace, and uh, we're going to do some writing today. I got some of my cool my uh, calligraphy pens out. Um, I got some new inks. I'm going to try those. I have some watercolors that I made. I don't know how that's going to go, but uh, we'll try that out too. We have um, what I got is a white to uh, help me uh, if I make mistakes. Things like that. This is all stuff you can find on Amazon. These are my two main inks. This is a black and a brown. The black and uh, Scythia, I think is what they call it. Oh, I don't know if you can see it without the uh, the light directly on it. I got a shadow on there, I think. Eee, let's see if I can get it there. There you go, Scythia. So this is by Higgins, uh, the inks. Uh, and uh, I'm kind of excited about this one. This is a gold. So it's copper plate, uh, made by uh, Doctor Who Martin, Doctor P. H. Martins. This is a iridescent calligraphy color, copper plate gold, and I've never used it before. So let's see, let's try it. You'll be the first one to see me use this. I don't know, let's set this over here. Oh, usually I keep a towel nearby because this stuff can get kind of messy. And if also, if I need to like dab something up, clean up, I'll do that. Let's use a smaller quill. Um, this is a quarter. There's a quarter, uh, there's a half inch here and a three quarters inch here. With different pin sizes. I think the three quarters inch is out of production. They don't even make this one anymore. This one, three quarters inch. This is a uh, half inch. And then I'm gonna use the gold on the, the quarter inch one because I don't have a pen that'll fit inside this, this ink well, except for the quarter inch. So I'm sure there's better equipment for doing all this than what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not, I'll tell you what, I'm, I don't get too caught up in all of the excess you might notice about me. I'm kind of a uh, Puritan. Let's try this, I've never used the gold before. Let's see what happens. Uh, let's do, uh, oh, I always keep my alphabet up here in front of me so that I know where I'm at. I know what my letters look like, you know. You just, you gotta have constant quality control going when you do this kind of thing. Uh, let's do the name. Let's do the name, how about that? Uh, okay, I'm holding the pen so that the thin side is almost vertical. I start with a little dab, then go out and down. Here's your yud. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna try and bring it closer to you. Let me bring my camera closer. How about that? Here's the yud. And of course, how do we spell the name? With the Hey. Next letter will be a hey. So remember, I'm going down a little bit. We go out. Flat on top. Oh, I like the gold. I'm gonna just make a little piece of wheat. Boom. You see that? It's just a little wheat. Piece of wheat. Yud hey, that's ya right there, right? Yehovah. Here we go. Let's do the Vav. And that goes straight down. Just a little bit of a piece of wheat at the end. Okay. Another hay. Okay. I really like this ink. You can keep going. Oh, look, it, it really is forgiving also. You see how it stays solid? Put that hay down there, boom. Oh, I uh, accidentally kind of smudged a little bit. Is it forgiving? Is it, How forgiving is it? Oh, yes. Very forgiving. I like it. Let's see if I can show you so far what we got. There's the name. And uh, let's write a verse. Um, what verse starts with uh, the name? Oh, Psalms 23, doesn't it? Uh, Jehovah Roy, the Lord is my shepherd, right? 
Roy is the Rayish. Remember to do your spacing. I always do it about a letter. You do a big Rayish. Oh, Roy. Roy, it's a now you got an A-N to go in here. These are hard for me, the A-Ns. I don't know, they just, they're tricky. You got to do a double kind of yud on top of it. You know, and then swoop out. Ooh, can you do it with this pen? Whoa, yeah, we did it. Down. Ooh, it's kind of hard to do this small pen. Roy. Uh, let's get, uh, the next one is a good, right? A Roy. So, you have a Roy. Ooh, I think I'm messing up my, um, my elevation. That's one of the things you gotta keep, too, uh, in writing. I, I have a problem writing even just with my regular handwriting. I'm terrible. So, uh, okay, and this also, obviously, so I'm trying to be, you know what, let's bring it up from the bottom and see what happens. Bam, there we go, full letter. Okay, forgiving ink, I really like that. Yehovah Roy, the, so the Lord is my shepherd. What, what happens after that? I will not, I will not want, I better tighten up my Ten Commandments. All right, here we go. Over Roy. Low. So you're going to use the lamid. Remember your spacing. Starting way up top in heaven with the lamid. Bringing it down. Boom. Swoop. It's like a piece of lightning coming from heaven. Low. Low means no, not. I will not. And you're going to use an aleph for that. Low. Okay. All one from the ink. Jehovah Roy, low. What? Asar. Uh, I will not lack. Okay. Spacing. I gotta go back to my elevation. I hope you guys don't mind. This is, I kind of just, I'm throwing this out there a little bit nonchalantly. Sorry. Uh, so we're gonna do another Aleph for Asar. I'm trying not to over, over correct so you can't tell too much about my elevation. Right? But I should have given my spacing a little more too. But at least you know it's a different word <laughs> because it's a different elevation oh boy i'm always looking on the positive side of things aren't i all right here we go so chet the chet touches on both sides not like the hay the hay of course stops about halfway up but this is the chet the achsar lack do a, a semic. I'm going kind of slow because I know you guys are watching. That's really what happened, is happening right now. Here's our semic. And a rayish to finish. Okay. Big long swoop. So it's an R. Okay. Yehovah Roy Losar, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. Let's see if I can get this in here for you. Okay. There you guys go. We'll see you soon. It's Pete. It's Shalom. Peace.